Hey guys, this is Brandon Wilmarth with your EdTech department and uh, all of you have Windows 10 computers now and one of the highest demand requests is being able to actually sync your OneDrive files with your new Windows 10 computer. So I just wanted to show you real quick how to actually do that. So first things first, if you go down to your icon tray in the right hand side and you see a little grayed out cloud, this is essentially your OneDrive sync app. And you can see right here, I have not signed in. I'm actually here in the computer lab and I wanted to show you how to do this. So uh, all you have to do is go over to your Windows start button here and scroll down till you see the OneDrive, Oop, I went past it, the OneDrive folder with the little blue cloud. When you click on this, this is the setup process. I'm going to type in my school email and hit sign in. And it's probably going to ask me a couple of questions, maybe even my password, we'll see. And nope, it's just gonna take me through some steps. Uh, essentially what it's telling us is that this will actually now sync to the hard drive of the computer and what I'm about to do is choose which folders I want to go through now for a lot of you you will be able to go ahead and just choose this sync all files and folders but if you're like me and you are a power user you have a lot of files and folders in your OneDrive you might not want to sync everything and the nice feature about this is it actually shows you how large each of the files are I recommend actually creating a 2019-2020 AP Lang folder and putting all of your active academic folders in there and making sure that that is one of them that syncs. Or, as I said, if you aren't a power user, you don't need to. But for me, I'm going to go through here and I'm going to sync only the files that are needed. So I'm gonna go ahead and put my admin files here. I don't need the nine gig graduation stream file. I'm gonna go ahead and put my class notebooks, my clever files, curriculum, and let's just go ahead and go through here, get the logos, the MPS trainings, and, and so on. But as you can see, I do not need 240 gigs worth of files on my hard drive. In fact, I think most of our hard drives are only about 250 gigs. That would crash the computer. So please be very aware of what folders you select. All you have to do at that point is say, okay, I'm ready to go. I'm gonna go ahead, let me put podcast files on there and presentations and scans. There we go. And then hit next. And at this point, what this is doing to the computer that I am on is it is actually now syncing all of the files. And it's thinking because it's doing a lot right now. Uh oh, saying it's not connected. Let me go through here. I wish I could edit this video, but I can't because it's a loom. So, all right. Oh, there we go. I just have to go through there, open my OneDrive folder, and now I just had to click a couple more arrows. And now you can see this little syncing button over here. And anything with a green check means that it's good, synced, it's ready to go. So this will appear in your Windows whenever you go to upload something, whenever you go to download something. You can upload and download directly to OneDrive, even if it's not a Microsoft file. This is the thing that we've been waiting on. This is the thing that I said, hold tight. It's going to get easier to use OneDrive. This is it. So if you have any questions about how to install and sync your OneDrive folders to your new Windows 10 computer, just email edtech at moreschools.com and we'll come out and help.